Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video we are looking at Last Epoch, and specifically we're going to be doing a guide over the Rotting Horde Emperor of Corpses. He is the last uh, boss that you have to fight to beat the Reign of Dragons in the Monolith of Fate. We'll be doing it with just kind of a pretty standard Warpath um, Void Knight build. And just before we get going, I'll show you what I've got. Uh, nothing fancy as far as armor goes. Uh, in fact, these uniques here aren't even really part of the build. They're just kind of the best stuff I've picked up so far, as this is my first playthrough. Um, other than that, we do have decent resistances and uh, pretty good armor. So there are going to be some things that I'm tanking through. However, there's quite a few things that I cannot really tank through too much. Now, before I get to the guide itself, I just wanted to explain two things. One, the reason I'm doing this boss is aside from Lagan, this is the second time that I've ran into any difficulty or any kind of setbacks or pushback in this game so far. I died to this boss, I don't know, probably 20 or so times before I started figuring out what to do. And then probably another 15 times before I actually was able to figure out the pattern perfectly. So he does two big moves in the beginning. One is a, a large AOE thing that if you are standing in, when it goes off, you die. So you've got to run out the circle. But then he does an AOE outside that you have to come inside for. And believe it or not, that mechanic right there probably accounted for like 70% of my deaths because I just didn't understand at first why I was even dying. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get to the fight. All right, so here we are, the third quest echo for Reign of Dragons, the Rotting Horde. Let's get to it. We're going to walk up. We're going to go ahead and do just a little bit of damage, but then we're going to run away because the very first move that he does is that large AoE followed by the outside AoE. So you basically run away from him, and then you have to run inside that thing. And the first one's a nuke. The second one is just a constant damage, but it will kill you if you stand in it for a more than two and a half seconds or so now the pattern is he does those then he'll do a bunch of like physical attack moves then he does this breath right here after he blows the breath out he immediately channels the nuke again followed by the outer constant damage so that is essentially the pattern and then when he's throwing all these zombies all over the place the only other thing you really have to watch out for is the like bubbling black liquid that's on the ground you can see it in the bottom right of the screen right now and as the fight goes on it spreads further and further it seems which makes it a little bit tougher uh, to avoid it especially if you're a melee class like this void knight here that's really relying on melee skills i have to get in close to be able to do damage and with all of the little zombies he's throwing out and the oil and all that stuff, it gets very hectic. So knowing the pattern is half the fight, obviously, right? Knowing, okay, it's going to be, you know, you're waiting, you're doing damage up until you see the breath. Then he's going to charge the nuke. Then he's going to do the outside part. Okay, rinse and repeat. The second part of the fight, though, what makes it difficult even after knowing the pattern is just the fact that it requires you to be really consistent is what I would say because it's just so easy to slip up and get carried away with you know trying to do DPS or oh man I need to like hit a healing potion because I accidentally stepped in way too much of the bubbling black liquid like there's just kind of a lot of chaos going on in this fight and because that AoE nuke is so light colored like that faint green it's easy to just get kind of caught up and then like not realize he's casting it until a little bit too late. And I can tell you for me at level 77, if I was even barely inside of that and got clipped, it was one shotting me. So pretty frustrating fight. But once you know the pattern, I mean, that's like probably the majority of what makes this hard. If you were having trouble clearing it, hopefully this helped. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, Thanks for watching.